Professor Diaz here, and in this video I'm going to talk about the determinants of supply. Now I know I did a video for each individual determinant of demand. I'm going to go ahead and do one video and cover all the determinants of supply since we already have a basic understanding of how um, things can be, you know, the curves can shift. And um, also these tend to be a little bit simpler. So I'm going to do one video and cover all six of the determinants of supply. Um, please note that there's five determinants of demand and six determinants of supply, and none of them are the same. Each one is unique to that list except for expectations, right? Expectations is the only thing that's on both lists, okay? Other than that, either demand will shift or supply will shift, but not both, unless there's expectations. And we'll talk about that when we get to number four. Um, starting number one, the first determinant of supply is production technology. As technology increases, this makes it uh, the, this increases the ability to produce more. So one of the best examples for this is in the farming and agriculture industry. As uh, we have more tractors and more sophisticated combines and GPS and all these sorts of things, this increased our ability uh, increased our ability to supply. Right, so supply increases. Right, as production technology increases. Another thing that affects supply that will shift supply is uh, cost of resources. Okay, cost of resources, um, as resources become more expensive, supply is going to shift in, which means a decrease in supply. As resources become less expensive, we will provide more, right? You Suppliers, businesses, people will be willing to supply more goods or services to the market. Prices of related commodities. This sounds familiar to uh, prices of related goods uh, from our other list, and it is a similar concept, but the difference is this word here at the end, right? The determinant of demand is uh, from the demand, demand side, um, from the buyer side, and related commodities is from the supply side, right? So a related good was hot dogs and hot dog buns. Those two things are related goods because the goods are consumed together, right? A related commodity, and I'm not a farmer, but let's say is potatoes and um, asparagus. I don't know if those things actually can be grown in the same field, but let's say they can. That would be a related commodity because they're supplied together, right? You can supply either one. So related goods are consumed together. Related commodities are supplied together. That's why this one is, although it's similar, it's not on both lists, right? So. Um, talking about the price of related commodities, let's say that asparagus and potatoes could be grown in the same field. If the price, let's say you're a potato farmer, if the price of asparagus goes up, then more people are going to start growing asparagus and that's going to drive uh, you to being producing um, the asparagus as well, right? And so the, the changes in the prices of those related commodities can change the amount of goods that you supply to the market. Expectations, is this one's the very similar one. As you expect prices to go up in the future, you're going to withhold your supply and wait. As you expect prices to go down in the future, you're going to increase the supply to the market because you want to sell it as quick as you can. Number of sellers, this is the same as number of buyers, but the other side, right? As uh, more people come into an area or more businesses come into a market, there's gonna be more suppliers and that's going to increase the supply, right? So increase in supply from an increase in suppliers. And finally, taxes and subsidies. Um, as people are taxed more, this will decrease supply, shift it in. And as people get subsidies, which is the government, basically the opposite of tax, the government subsidizing, giving money to businesses such as farmers or um, you know, electric power people or, or whatever, this is going to increase the supply of those goods and services to be provided. So these are the things that will shift supply. Remember a change in supply, just like a change in demand is a, sh is a change in the whole curve and a change in quantity supplied is a movement along the curve from change in price, okay? So a change in supply means the whole curve shifts and a change in quantity supplied means there's a change in price which shifts along the curve. I know that was a little bit of a quick overview, um, but I really don't put as much emphasis on the determinants of supply, and so that's probably uh, enough for what you need.